Hi, this is Heather Bruce, and this is my kitchen, and this is Ginger Tales, and um, everyone is welcome, but um, uh, as you can see today, I have all my makeup, the majority of my makeup on. I have all my foundation, concealer, highlights, um, you know, the basics, um, and if you haven't seen me do that, then go back because there's like three or four videos of me doing all of this and it takes up a lot of time and gets repetitive. So I decided to skip that today and jump into what we really need to talk about, which is, you see these two swatches on my hand? One is purple and one is blue. And these are, uh, the new colors for fall. I know you've seen like all over Facebook. It's been um, uh, would you rock purple or blue lips? And um, I totally would. Like I'm I'm crazy. Like my daughter picked out a color at um, somewhere that was like finding Dory, and it was this really weird. I'll show you that one day. But um, it was this really weird. Um, kind of, uh, well, it was the color of my nails actually, and I wore that with a really cute eyeshadow that matched, you know, um, to see the movie. And um, so I decided people are really scared of these colors, they're like purple and blue. What? So I decided that what we would do today is we're going to do a purple eye and a purple lip so that the splash colors for Unique have not come out yet. They do have some purple mattes elsewhere, but um, these things are gonna be amazing, like Jeffree Star. Um, I mean, like, let's see who else. Um, Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly Hills, amazing um, lipsticks. So I'm gonna teach you today how to do a good purple eye that you can wear with a really good purple lip. And then next time, we'll do our best, because even I'm a little scared of the blue, but we're gonna rock it out. And, because I think you could do a good smoky eye with a blue, and then that would work. But, um, so the first thing you do is pick an outfit that has, you know, a little purple in it. Okay, just a touch, you know, but you got a match. I mean, come on. All right. Then the next thing we're going to do is, all right. Um, I put on some eyeliner, and you guys are not going to believe this. Um, I saw in a video have this ColourPop R&B, and I saw in a video where they're always biting out like that. I saw in a video where. Um, someone had used this as an eyeliner and I was like, how cool is that? It's waterproof. It's, I just whacked myself in the head. Um, it's waterproof. It's like, you know, it's, it's, that would be so cool and perfect. And it came out like a really kind of cute purple color. I'm not sure if I'm sticking with it, but I'm liking it so far. But let's get to the eyeshadow. Okay, so now you know the first thing I did was Unique Splurge and Elegant, which was the cream to um, uh, powder primer on my eye. Um, you can use your own primer or whatever. Um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get into some purples. And that's another thing Unique is coming out with is, oh, we're coming out with some great colors. Um, you know, when you see me wrinkle my face like that, I am battling to get into something. I have such short nails, I can't pry something of it. Anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to get our short packet on crease brush. And we're going to go with these nice purpley colors here. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to shadow out. I'm going to use this up near my brow bone right here. 
I'm going to use this for my crease and this is what I'm going to use as like a, you know, to make that nice point over there. So first, let's get a little on there and go for that brow bone. My hair is in the way. Let's just get that out of the way right now. Oh, I've got to get a haircut. Okay. I have the worst luck with hairdressers. You want to hear my hairdresser story? How horrible it is? Oh my god. Okay, so my first hairdresser, you know, that I finally, like, it took me, like, forever, like, and I, when I say forever, I mean, like, half of my life to find a hairdresser that I positively adored and loved. Okay, loved her with everything I had on my heart to this day. Okay. So, started going to her. I was so happy. Had the best hair ever. And so then she packs up and moves to Scotland. I mean, like, entirely halfway around the world, right? Yeah, thanks. Thanks a lot, Brandy. Okay. So, like, my choices were, like, move to Scotland or figure out what to do. So, uh... <laughs> she recommended this girl, Kristen. And Kristen, oh my gosh, her stuff is like fabulous, but you know me, I gotta like watch them on Facebook, I gotta like ask around, see who all is having their hair done, you know, at that girl's place. I did this from here down. Now I'm going in at my crease with this color right here. Um, so I'm asking, you know, and I'm watching, you know, is this, because she looked like she was 12, but I was like, oh my God, how long have you been doing hair? You know, you can't do my hair. You're like a baby. And uh, so I'm watching her. I may not even need that other color, but just to be safe, I'm going to go on the lid and the crease and fill that out. So, just to be safe, you know, I checked her out and everything, and she's, you know, like, amazingly good. She does, like, the cool hair colors, the great haircuts, the, I mean, she can do it all. She's really bad. A. And, um, so, I get ready. I'm ready. I'm finally prepared to go make this hair appointment with this lovely hairdresser and she is pregnant well of course you can't mess with hair colors and dyes and things like that if you're pregnant so and I don't dye my hair red I just put like as you can see a couple of streaks here or I'll put like a cute little you know, raspberry streak in it or something, like an ombre kind of thing. And I was like, oh my god. Oh my god, I waited too long. She's pregnant. What am I going to do? So now, here I am. My hair is, like, humongously long, dead end. But I guess I could get her to cut it. She said she's going to work until she can't anymore. But... I'm guessing the coloring option is off the table, which makes me want to seriously cry because, you know, I need some color. I wish I was like Bunny Mare, Graveyard Girl, and I could like, you know, have like that tan guy like come to me and like not even have to go to Los Angeles, just have him come and do my hair. That would be just like super awesome. Bunny, if you're listening, I can use a haircut and a color. Anyway, so uh, we've got a nice blend on that. Or no, we have a nice color on that. It isn't blended yet. Okay, we're going to go in with the dark purple now. And we're going to create that nice little corner V. V for victory, baby. We are going to wear a purple lip. Can you believe that? 
you can. You're like, I'm not doing this. I'm so not wearing a purple lip. You can do it. You can. And these are matte colors. And anytime you want to wear or change or put something in your crease, make sure it's a matte color. You can go shimmery everywhere else, but try your best not to put a, uh, a, a, uh, a shimmery color in your crease. You want a nice matte because it's just gonna, you know, look at that, that looks crazy. I'm not one of those women who've been like, oh, I put it on and it looks good. And then I blend and it looks even better. I'm just, I'm not, I really am not. I'm learning with you guys. I'm not a makeup artist, I'm just, a girl who likes makeup and likes to look pretty. Now I'm going to go in here and blend my butt off. And you can go back and make that a little darker if you want to. I'm not. I like that pretty right there see how to paint out now see I have an even eyes I have like this eyelid over here is like so huge it's much bigger than the other one I don't know why it's freakishly strange actually I do know why I had a lot of head surgery so I'm lucky to be alive so I'll take my freakishly strange eyeshadow eyeball over, you know, death store anytime, and I'll just make it even. Ta-da. Okay, so, and then I just use my blending brush, so I'm going to use my finger now. Alright. So we've got this great eyeshadow on. Now you know me, I'm all about the cleanup. Take it in. Okay. Now, do we want to go back with this purpley color on our eyelid? I mean, it's already on there, so I almost want to do it. But since it's already on there, I think I'm, I think I'm going to leave it. I really do. I think I'm just going to leave it the way it is and say, hey, because I have some of this, which is a nice purple eyeliner. Uh, Riley? Sorry. Riley? I don't exactly know what freaking bull shrimp are, but in order to cuss, my sons will come up with some really odd Well, I'm a cusser. They take me off, I'm You'd need a camera to bleep me out. Okay. So that purple came out really well too. I like that. But these tan pencils, I hate them. It's like you sharpen, sharpen, sharpen. And then you get this. Okay. Let me see this. Look, great pencil on that side. And that side is like a stabby, pokey, like... Take your eye out and kill you. Yeah, yeah, everybody enjoys that. Everybody enjoys like you want to, you know, maim me for life. Thanks. Thank you so much. Okay. 
I think this was going to be a short video. It's 1455. I don't know how I made a short video. It makes it impossible. This is normal. I can't do it. Okay. Okay, so we've got a nice purple. Can we talk about blowing out that lash line? I like a good smear. I know that sounds crazy, but I really do. I think it's dark like that, I like it just smear it. I'm going to add a little bit more of this on the top lash. A good one never hurt nobody. Actually, it did, but you know, I'm saying, not you. And yes, my mouth is open. Get over it. Women can't do this with that. You know, you do it too. Okay, now if I had the power of makeup. And my little lash brush, I could totally whip out some purple mascara. We don't have some purple mascara, so we're just going to have to make do, okay? I think I'm um, mascara in my hair. Okay. All right. Our eyes are done. Our eyes are pretty. That looks great. That looks flipping great. Okay. Now we're going to do what you're terrified of. What you're so scared of. Okay. But first we're going to pull out our pompous lip liner. And I'll always again go with a clean palette. And you don't want this to bleed. Does that like it to also work? Work. Work for me. You can do it. There you go. don't want it to bleed, so I want that line perfect. Alright, now, for the part you girls were scared of. Now, I'm going to use LAC Matte in purple, but, again, 
This is nothing like when the splash comes out. So let's give it a try. Now, what were we afraid of? Ladies, let me tell you something. I would, in the winter, get a really pretty scarf or a really, really nice um, purple sweater or just a sweater with some pretty purple in it and a really good pair of boots and this is a beautiful look for fall. I am so glad that somebody thought purple would be a great color for fall because this is gorgeous. It really is. I love it. And I hope you do too. And I'm a magical unicorn, a gender. We're going extinct. And this has been Gender Tales with Heather Nicole. And I hope you come back and see when we figure out how to wear this blue. So, see you next time. Love you guys. Bye-bye.